Hi VC Sango back again. Today I'm going to bring you a new video. I want to talk about my favorite album from the, the 80s. I know a lot of people here in the VC have done this a lot. Uh, today I'm going to start with, of course, 1980. Um, basically, this could be more rock and metal. That's the genre we all know I really enjoy and love. So it's going to be very heavily on rock and metal. So let's start right off with number 10. My top 10 favorite album from 1980. Number 10 comes in Journey, Departure. Great album. We all know the hit song, Any Way You Want It. Great, great song. Steve um, Perry's vocals is amazing. We all know that. So yeah, my number 10 in my list is Journey, Departure. Great album. And coming in number 9 is... um. Ariel Speed Wagon, High Fidelity, another great um, band from the um, the eighties. I really enjoy them so much, and this one of the best albums they did was this one. So great, great songs on this one. Don't let them go. Keep on loving you. Take it on the run. Keep on loving you. Is their biggest hit. You know that's a huge power ballad from the the eighties, and it, that song dominated basically. Almost all the 80s. Everywhere you went, it was, that song was on the radio. School dances, you name it. When, like, uh, remember my cousin uh, fell in love. That was the song he always li listened to the most. It's ridiculous, but, you know, it was good at the same time. So, yeah. Coming in number nine, Ariel Speed Wagon, High Fidelity. Okay. Coming in number eight, I have here Van Halen, Women and Children First. Great album, really enjoy this. Uh, the Crater Will Rock, great song. Uh, one of my favorites from this album is the album Finisher. Everybody wants some great song. Um, funny story, I first heard that song on a movie that I saw back in the eighties. Uh, John Cusack's Bird of Death. Today it's like a cult classic. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you guys to go see it. Or stream it. It's so good. It's cheesy, but it's so funny. It's fun watch. Um, but this is seeing that he's he's working on a burger joint, and he's daydreaming. The, he, he, his job sucks, and um, the burger that he's working on um, <laughs> comes comes to life and starts singing the song, and it even has a, a miniature um, Eddie Van Halen. Frankenstein guitar, you know, the one with the red and stripes. Oh, it's, it's so funny. I love that scene. And he's singing this song. The, the, the reason he's singing this song is because the, 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 the logo of the, the burger joint is Everybody Wants Some. So, yeah, it's so funny. I really, really love that movie. I really love that song. Okay. Coming in number seven. I have here another great band. From the 80s, another one that it was very uh, first two or three albums it was so hard, you know, hard rock. Then they started going a little bit poppy and poppy and poppy as the years go by, but still good stuff. I really enjoy it. So I was talking about Death Leopard on Through the Night. It's the their uh, first official studio album. They do have an IP. It's very rare to, to find that one. Uh, but this is their first studio album and it's so great. I really enjoy it. And Rock Brigade's my favorite song on this album. So yeah, coming in number seven, Death Leopard on Trade Night. Okay, coming in number six, I have here another a band that I hardly knew about. The first time I, I heard about this band or learned about this band was on a YouTube video I watched uh, a few years ago. Um, we all know Cliff Burton sadly passed away. Uh, Metallica's bassist, uh, 1986. We all know what happened. Um, uh, still missing one of the best bassists. Anyway, his father wanted to show the world Cliff's um record collection, his vinyl collection, and he showed this one. He showed many, but this one, this one, um got my attention because I really enjoy the, the the car really loved this I thought that looks so freaking awesome so I had to find it and thankfully I have it I enjoy it pretty much still join this band today and I wonder 
Cliff Burton had really good taste in music. And this is um, this is one of the bands that his father said influenced him to be a musician. So we all know, you know, he has good he had good taste in music. So coming in number six is Tigers of Pantan, Wildcat. What a great album. Um, John Sex used to be in this band, but he left. By this album, he wasn't here. He left before this album um, came out. John Sex, one of the great guitarists. That's another story. He's one of my favorites. Um, check my my video about my favorite uh, um, guitarist. He's, he's, he's in there. But yeah, coming in number six, Tiger Sun Pantang. Well, okay. great, great, great um, album. This album got also, re this is my original copy. This album just got reissued. I think Music of Vinyl reissued, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, great, great stuff. Great album. Okay, coming in number five. I have here another iconic, legendary band. <laughs> what can I say about this band that is already mentioned before? And I'm talking about Kiss. This is their album, Unmasked. Really enjoyed this album from 1980. My favorite song is, of course, Shandy. Kind of cheesy, but I really love that song, Shandy. And so many awesome, great, awesome songs. The whole For me, the whole album is awesome. So, yeah. From 1980, this is number album number um, five. Kiss and Mask, and we all know what happened, you know, and when this this thing came out. Peter Chris was, um, I think, it doesn't play in this album, you know, that's when he, he got fired or quit the band, I don't know. You know, we all know so many stories about that, but yeah, we really enjoy this album a lot. Okay, coming in number four from 1980 is another great uh, band, one of my top favorites, uh, what can I say? The vocalist on this, uh, lead vocals on this um, band is one of the best vocalists um, in rock metal, and still today still making um, making music. They just did a new album that is freaking awesome, such killer albums. One of my top favorites from 2024. And I'm talking about Judas Priest. Um, what can I say? One of my top favorite. My favorite is Screaming for Vengeance, but this one comes is right there, comes in second. And we all know the hit song Breaking the Law come is on this song. Another great song is Steeler. We really enjoy that song. So yeah. Great album. I love that cover. That cover is so freaking cool. And Rob Halford, we all know his vocals. And he still sings just like he started out like that guy has so great chops. Oh, so gives boop goosebumps to anyone who can listen to him. He's so freaking awesome. So yeah. Coming in number four, Judas Priest, British Steel. Okay. Coming in number three. Another legendary singer, another legendary um, artist who started out with another uh, band back in the uh, 70s. Then he went solo. And this is his first official studio album as a solo artist and I'm talking about Ozzy Osbourne, Blizzard of Oz. Great album. Randy Rhodes and this album really rocks. Um, so many hit songs. I don't know. Crazy Train. Mr. Crowley. Great song. I love that song. And wow. What can I say? It's so good all around it. And so freaking killer. Uh, this is my favorite um one of my, sadly, only Randy wrote these two albums, but this is this is so good. Yeah. Great, great album. This one comes in number three. Okay. Number two is my top five favorite bands from the 80s. I, wow, I can't get enough from this band, back, especially back in the 80s. This is the band, I've mentioned this so many times. This is the band that got me into rock and metal, especially metal. Uh, back in the 80s, and I, I mentioned the story so many times, but wow, what, what can I say? And this is, this wasn't the, the album that I first listened to. Um, the first one I listened to was three or four albums after that, and I'll talk to you right now, and I'm talking about Iron Maiden's debut album, came back in, uh, came out in 1980. The first album that I heard from them was Peace of Mind in the summer of 86. I thought that I have talked that about so many times that story and then I learned they had even better stuff before peace of mind and I, then I learned that 
Iron Man started out with an, uh, another singer that it wasn't Bruce Dickinson, like Paul Diano. I really enjoy Paul Diano's voice. Uh, I know it's for me, it's more mellow, more punky. Uh, we all know uh, Bruce Dickinson, his, his vocals are harder and, you know, anyway, but I really enjoy Paul Diano's on, um, music and, I mean, his voice on this album. Killers is a great album, don't get me wrong. A lot of people prefer Killers. I love Killers, but I, I enjoy Iron Maiden debut a lot more. Oh, the, I, I enjoy the whole album. I cannot choose a favorite one. But Prowler, Remember Tomorrow, Running Free, Phantom of the Opera, a great, a great song. Transylvania Instrumental is amazing. Um, I remember they started with that intro when they, they did that um, Flight 666 tour. I, I went to that tour and that was the, the, the their intro when they um, was going to you know, start to, to, you know, to do their setup. I really enjoy Strange World. Oh, that's like a major power ballad. That's gonna be, I'm thinking about doing a power ballad from, you know, metal um, work. And Tr Tr Strange World is, is up there. Wow, Enjo uh, Strange World, that's an awesome, awesome power ballad. Never thought Iron Man would have a power ballad like that one. But when, back when power ballads were, 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 were in a, a thing, so yeah, you, you gotta listen to that. Sanctuary, uh, this is the, the harvest pressing. Um, this one has sanctuary because the I think the I'm not sure if the UK the UK pressing does not have that song in it and sanctuary, but this one has it. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy. Iron Maiden, we all know that that's their theme song. So yeah, really love this this album. So freaking killer. I enjoy Killers, but I love I love that one even more. Okay, coming in number one. One of the best bands still rocking today in their old age. Sadly, one of the members, founding members, passed away. I'm so, uh, that, that really is, really, um, you know, it was really, really tough to, to, to hear what happened. But anyway, I'm so, so fun to this band. I um, really enjoy it a lot. This is my favorite album of them, basically. And I know their earlier stuff is even better. A lot of people enjoy just like the same thing with David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar. They're, the band had two singers. This band had two singers because we all know the singer, their founding singer um, passed away. So they have to get another one. And I'm talking about ACDC, Black, Back in Black. Great album. The whole album is amazing. I cannot choose a favorite one also on this one. But we got Back in Black, Hell's Bells. Shoot the Thrill, love that song a lot. What do you do for money? Oh, rock and roll, nose pollution. Uh, shake a leg. You shook me all night. Oh my God, you shook me all night long. That song, saw the music video on MTV in the 80s so many times. Freaking killer. So yeah, this whole album is so freaking awesome. And I know they have great stuff also with Bon Scott. But sad, we all know Sally, he passed away and then uh, Brian Johnson started off with in this band, and wow, what a what a great debut for Brian Johnson on this band. This album is so freaking my favorite album with Brian Johnson, um, you know, from ACDC. This is my favorite Brian Johnson, ACDC album. My favorite Bon Scott album is I Was to Hell. That's my favorite uh, with Bon Scott. But yeah, ACDC Back in Black, number one of my top 1980s rock and metal album. So yeah. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. My next video, I'm going to try to do um, during the week. It's going to be 1981. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, let me know what are your top 10 uh, bands from the, um, the 80s, your top favorite. Let me know down below. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And like I always say, rock on. Bye, guys.